Hello there, Carlos here, and welcome back to my channel, Angula Life, your cozy corner of applied mathematics, economics, and Wolfram Mathematica coding. Today, we are diving into a fundamental rule in calculus, the power rule of differentiation, and some codes in Wolfram Mathematica that we can run to understand it quicker and better. So, chances are you are starting to see a lot of functions like this in your classes, and you might be wondering, what on earth is a derivative and how do I find it? So, let's quickly touch base on what a derivative is. You see, in the language of calculus, a derivative measures how a function changes as its input changes. It's like the speedometer of your car. The speedometer tells you how fast you're moving at any given moment, right? Likewise, a derivative tells you how fast your function is changing at any given point. Let's look at this example function x squared plus x minus 15 in Wolfram Mathematica. You can see this function in purple and its derivative at any value of x in red. Hence, it's the rate of change, the slope of the tangent line to the function at that point. And what's a tangent line? Well, it's just a straight line that touches the curve at a single point and does not cross it, i.e., as I said, the red line. So as I change the value of x along this slider, we see that the derivative of this function changes accordingly by pivoting upwards as you increase x, which is what the red line is doing. In more technical terms, if we have a function fx, the derivative of f with respect to x often written as f prime of x, or df by dx, gives us a new function that represents this rate of change. All right, now that we are all on the same page about derivatives, let's go ahead and dive into the main topic for today. The power rule is incredibly simple. It says that if you have a function of the form f of x is equal to a times x to the power of n, where a is a constant and n is the exponent, the derivative is just a times n times x to the power of n minus 1. That's it. Easy peasy, right? And this process applies for several x terms separated by either summations or subtractions in a function. So let's try with a slightly more difficult example with the function fx is equal to minus 8 times x to the power of 4, plus 4 times x to the power of 2, minus the square root of x, minus 2, divided by the cube root of x squared. As I said, in this way, we just apply the rule to each x term without forgetting the respective multiplying constants and signs. And just like that, we can now find the slope of the tangent at any point. So, if you're ever given a function of this form and asked to find the derivative, now you know the secret. But we can also naturally code this differentiation in Mathematica. It's just as simple as typing d, open a square bracket, and we hereby type the function in this way, then comma, space, and the variable against which we are differentiating, usually x, and close the square bracket. To run the code, click Shift plus Enter right at the end. And there we have it. Mathematica cooked this derivative in under one second, exactly as our power rule predicted. It's like magic, but it's actually mathematics. Isn't it beautiful? Mathematica makes it easier for us to apply these concepts and actually see them in action. For instance, with this button, we can plot the derivative of the function, that is, f prime of x, to see how it changes with respect to x. This was the power rule of differentiation, demystified and visualized. Remember, math isn't just about rules and formulas, it's about understanding, about intuition. And with the help of Wolfram Mathematica, we're making that understanding more accessible every day. So keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, stay curious, stay passionate. This is Carlos, signing off for Angulo Life. Have a lovely day, everyone. Peace.